Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I did not plan to do this video um, on the floor of my bedroom um, where there's probably like a ton of sweat. I don't know if you can see. It's probably not as easy to see the massive amount of sweat. There's a little bicep for you guys that I keep asking. And, and this is not water, this is sweat. Um, I really did not plan to do a video, but I just did for the first time in forever. Um, it's also very strange for me with camera placement, <laughs> sorry, but my cue thing is over here and the camera's over here, so either way, I'm going to be looking in a funny place no matter when I shoot my videos. Here's the deal. Um, I just did Insanity for the first time. In fact, what I did is I happened to be looking up, um, oh, how did this all happen? You guys know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, I did, I've had Insanity, the original Insanity from Beachbody, like, <sighs> several years back. Um, I think the first thing I ever bought from them was P90X, and then I did Insanity. Always loved Insanity. In fact, those are <laughs> the subject of quite a lot of my sweaty vlogs in the past. Um, but I think, you know, I, and in fact, I have it in there. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Um, in the past couple of weeks, somebody on Facebook had up a preview of Shanti's new uh, workout DVD series that are coming out. It's called Size, C-I-Z-E, and it's all dance. And I watched it and I was like, oh my, I have to have that. It looks so cool. I mean, one of the things Beachbody does really well is make really great, uh, especially getting your sweat on videos. Um, so I saw that and then I think I, would, I kept going back to the video, the preview for it, because it looked so cool. It was great music and I'm like, when is this coming out? And I started reaching out to all of my friends that were Beachbody coaches. And so then I kept thinking about insanity and I kept thinking about what my training's going to be. You know, Whitney's going to switch up some of my training. I need to make sure I sit up straight. Look at me watching my posture. See how normal it is for me to sit like this? Guys, that's bad for your back. Make sure you sit up. So um, let's adjust. <sighs> Stay on focus. This might be under five minutes. Let's see if we can do it. Um, saw the Sean T video, started, I kept going on YouTube in the morning and I'm like, this is so cool. And then, you know, how they always have suggested videos. Well, they had a suggested video that was, um, Insanity Max 30. And I'm like, oh, what? Hello? I have a problem <laughs> with shiny objects. I have to look at them and then usually what happens is I have to buy them. Um, but coming from experience, I know that I have so, I never have a, a reluctance to do turbo fire um, insanity the only reasons I haven't done the insanity DVDs lately is because I think if I remember I could be wrong most of them are like 45 minutes and Whitney doesn't want me doing 45 minutes of cardio um, she wants me to do hit training you know really high intensity but 20 to 30 minutes max so I think that's why I hadn't brought that up so I see insanity max 30 I'm like oh they're all insanity workouts and they're all 30 minutes of course I had to get that and then what other one is there um, oh, so then, of course, I'm on YouTube, and then I'm seeing T25, so I had to get that one, too, and then I decided to become a Beachbody coach. That's not why I'm doing this video. I'm doing this video um, because I just did, like, one of the Insanity Max um, 30, whatever. My point is, I realized a tendency in myself that I think a lot of you guys have, and it's so funny because it's like what Sean T happened to say in this DVD is exactly the moment where I was catching myself. Okay, so this was the first time I did this Insanity Max 30 DVD. It's the first time in a while I've done Insanity and I got about to like minute 23. Okay, so it's 30 minutes total. And it was the last circuit of this blast. And you guys, I had my butt kicked, okay? I was totally sweating, gasping, chugging water. I already chugged two huge things of smart water. Um, that's always been the case, and it's funny because you start, as you're cooling down, you sweat even more. But I got to this last, last part, and I found myself going, you know, I, I did the whole thing. That's enough. I, you know, I've done 25 minutes, or I've done 23 minutes. That's okay. I don't need to do this last one. Why? Because I was weak, and I was, you know, tired, and that's what our minds and our bodies want to do. We want to be, we want to baby ourselves, right? We want to be... This looks really funny. We want to be kind to ourselves. And um, so I realized that that's what I was doing. And my neck just looks like it has all these muscles and veins sticking out. Maybe it's... 
sorry. <laughs> ah, I'm in five minutes. So there was that moment where he, I don't even know what he said, but he's like, he, he said something to the effect of, don't quit now, you know, you know, do it and, and make it count. You're only cheating yourself. This is how you get stronger. And I just had this moment of awareness that that's what I do. You know, that's what we all do. Sometimes we can even do it if we're in the presence of our trainer, if we have a personal trainer, right? You get to the last bit and you're like, you know, I kicked it. It's, it, you know, I kicked it hard today. I can, I can take off. If I take off the last three minutes of every DVD that I'm not doing 30 minutes and, and I'm giving myself that tendency to um, take the easy way out. And so I pushed through and I did it. And I'm like, let's see what I can do. Guess what? When I was doing my lifting session before this, um, there's several times where I'm like, I don't need to do that second set. You know, I, I did enough. Well, you know what? There is a difference. I keep thinking of, of this phrase. That's the difference between ordinary results and extraordinary results. Maybe that's hokey, whatever, but for me, that's one of the things I'm gonna focus on is not letting myself when I want to, when I run, when I do my cardio, when I'm doing my lifting, you know, not giving myself the break to say, oh, I don't think I can do those last two reps. That's the difference. That's the difference between really seeing gains, between really reaching your goals, and then, you know, yeah, it doesn't mean you can't get fit, um, doing 75 to 80% of any workout or whatever. But if you really want to get there, why not challenge yourself and then feel really awesome instead of taking the easy way out and do whatever you have to do to catch yourself in those moments. Um, for me, it just happened to be timely that he said something, but hey, all I'm saying to you guys is I came in here, I sat on the floor to shoot this video to tell you guys that is what I caught myself doing today. Don't let yourself be easy on yourself. You have to be the one that's gonna keep you going. Whether you're at the gym, whether you're at your trainers, you're the only one that knows how much harder you can push and see if you can do one more thing. I'm not saying, and forgive me, Crossfitters, I'm not saying go that, you know, kind of extreme, like you have to be dying and passing out. I'm just saying, see what you're capable of. Be safe, use correct form, stretch, but don't be easy on yourself.